Number 76, write the Lewis structures of the reactants and the product of each of the following equations and identify the Lewis acid and the Lewis base in each. Okay, so writing the Lewis structures is going to be a review. We have a whole chapter in this channel designated to how to draw the Lewis structures. So that will kind of be like a uh, review. I did write down on the bottom that we're going to use seven valence electrons for iodine because that goes by the group. The new thing here is just now taking those Lewis structures and identifying the acid, the Lewis acid and the Lewis base. But first we got to write out those Lewis structures. So let's go. I minus, well, that's just an iodine. And we know that iodine has seven valence electrons. So I'm just going to draw seven dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And remember, if it's a negative charge, that means that you gained one electron. So it has to go with that electron that's not paired. And now, since it is negative, I'm just going to say that this iodine, since it gained one electron, it's the negative charge. Now, let's do the same thing for I2. Well, now I have two iodines, so I and I. They both have seven valence electrons, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No charge on this one, so I don't have to gain any electrons. I make that one single bond, and they both have the octet rule, so we're good with that. Now, for the product, I have I3 minus. Okay, so now I have three iodines in a row. One, two, three. Let's see, I have seven valence electrons for each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one also gained one electron. So, I'm going to just stick it with a um, electron that's not paired. So this guy looks a little lonely over here. So I'm just going to stick it with this iodine. Single bond it up. And the two outer ones have the octet rule. So that's all good. And remember, iodine is a special case in which it can have the expanded octet. So this one has 12 electrons. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Whoops, sorry. Ten. I can't count. Um, <laughs> So that's totally fine. Now, if we wanted to find out which one was the negative, we would do the formal charge on each iodine. And it turns out that the negative now is the one in the middle. So we're going to put the negative in the middle. Now, we're just going to see what happened. Well, it looks like I completely added the one iodine to the complex that had the two of them, right? And if I zoom in on this, it seems as if my one lone pair turned into a bond. Do you see that? That these three lone pairs are still here. One, two, three. So it just seems as if this one lone pair got donated to that iodine. And then this just, you know, stuck along for the ride. That didn't change. Now here comes the definition. A Lewis base is always the one that donates that electron pair. So maybe I'll put that in blue. So since here I had that electron pair and I donated it and now it's a bond, that had to have been the Lewis base. And keep in mind, if you do see a negative charge on your reactant side, chances are it's going to be the Lewis base. The other one then has to be a Lewis acid. You can't have two Lewis bases and you can't have two Lewis acids. And the Lewis acid is always the one that accepts it. So, I mean, this iodine is chilling now. He's like, okay, I accepted the bond and thanks. So that's that. I really hope this helped out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let's keep working hard, keep studying, and check the channel out. We also have physics and math videos at the moment, so maybe we can help you out with those subjects as well. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much, and I will talk to you soon.
Bye-bye.